Hey, I'm Mark Clem, your host for Meet the Members of the National Ski Patrol. Hey, folks, season three is underway, and we always try to get underway in the summer. I know we were at the spring officers meeting a, a few months ago, but, hey, we're in the thick of it now. We're in the thick of training. Um, we're up here in Harrison, Maine, at the 10th Annual National Ski Patrol's Certified Boot Camp. And folks, when I say boot camp, we're not up here checking blood pressures and vital signs and putting a Band-Aid on and, and having fun. I mean, that, that's what we do a lot on the trail, on the mountains, at home and all that. But when you come to John Kane's 10th annual boot camp, it is a boot camp. It's a lot of fun. Nobody fails here. There's a ton of learning that goes on here, but the scenarios they put on here are off the charts. Last year, um, they had lift gondolas from Killington laying in the woods, and I walked up and said, oh my God, how did that happen? How did you orchestrate that? This year, folks, unbelievable. I thought we were just gonna have a little bus wreck or you know, 15, 20 people hurt and all that, but we're here with Rich Wagaman from the Round Top Ski Patrol who made the trek all the way up here to Harrison, Maine. And Rich, um, what in your typical uh, dispatch from the top duty station at Round Top, the scenario did this morning, was it? Oh my gosh, it was, uh, what a difference. Uh, you know, it was a mass casualty. Okay, incident, and with with uh, other uh, agencies involved, you know, police and fire, uh, EMS, the whole nine yards with, you know, with a plane uh, going down uh, and, and uh, simulated fire, and <laughs> it was amazing. Talk about real scene. Now let's set the scene here, folks. Last night we came in on a couple days ago. Last night on Friday night it was pouring rain down no fun to be camping out and to pouring the rain down so we went inside and we had a little briefing about setting up an instant command station from Ed McNamara and all the components that you have to do for that and then lo and behold we come out here and this these scenarios are huge super secret scenarios and we I didn't even know it till I got to the site and I walked up to the site and there's a plane in the woods that appeared to run over a bunch of campers in the woods. And I went, are you kidding me? And guess who was the incident commander? Rich from Round Top. Rich, the incident commander with fire, police, everyone screaming at you, dogs running around, campers hurt. Um, did you think about like just joining the mountain safety team or, or something like that? Well, actually, that's where I came from, from mountain <laughs> safety. But no, it, it was it was, uh, it was was amazing. All, all, everybody was... Uh, it was coordinated, you know, and and the acting and the and the and all the the simulated incidents, and it was just, yeah, a, a lot, very realistic, very realistic. Hectic is a real good description. Now, folks, um, I guess many thanks go out to um, John Kane and Dave Walker and Justin Guth and and all the folks that that spent three or four months creating this and I talked to the guys and they went to Peace Air Force Base down in Portland and got a plane and I've never, I don't, would have any idea where to go find a wrecked plane. They found one. Yes. And um, they just, I mean, there was a um, the person in the plane, yes. there was three fire trucks, two ambulances, Massachusetts State Police. I mean, it was the real deal um, play acting. Now, nobody failed. And there was tons of mistakes made, but there was a heck of a lot of good done here. But you know what? At the end of it, they put your arm around each other and they said, great job. And we all talked about, can we do it different? Can we do it better? Now, some things you couldn't do better because some things, that's the way you do it. Yes. But this was one, one of those things where you walk away and you go, I feel pretty damn good. I can go do a, a, co a collision on a ski resort now, right? right? Oh, my gosh, yes. After having all those inputs and trying to control it or at least observe it and direct from that point, uh, it, it's, it's a lot. It's a good exposure, right? You learn uh, what you can do and how well you do it, and then you also learn, hey, I can improve here for sure. There's no doubt. But on the mountain does make a difference to, to have that exposure, and then you go back to your home mountain. And then even something close to that, you could have a real more confidence as to how you're going to handle it. Now, everybody up here is not looking to get 
into the certified program. There's folks up here. By the way, there's a little over 100 people here, patrollers that have descended on uh, Hurricane Cove here in Harrison, Maine, on Long Lake here. And, you know, there's all different kind of agendas. Everyone's not here to get their certified. Some here get training. There's two or three guys that just finished their OEC candidate class, and their eyes are probably bugged out like, I don't know. Um, but, Rich, what was your motive for coming up and experiencing the three or four days here and and um, just give, exposing yourself to all this wealth of knowledge that's that's here. Well, it is. It's a wealth of knowledge. There's, uh, you know, there's so much more that you can learn and improve. And I wanted to come up and improve, you know what I mean? And, and then that way there I can share it with others, right? And I'm, this is, uh, coming up will be my fifth season as a patroller. And I'm a senior patroller now, but I, Coming to something like this, you know how much more you can learn, how much more, more there is to learn. And everybody's fantastic. I, they, they are very accommodating, very instructive, very positive reinforcement, the whole nine yards. It's it's very impressive. Now, folks, this was the 10th annual um, National Ski Patrol Certified Boot Camp held up here at Hurricane Cove on Long Lake in Maine. And, um, hey, if you like what you see here, I mean, you not be, might not be ready to be a certified patroller for all you guys out there that are patrollers, but, hey, you might think about coming up next year. It's always held right around the last weekend in July, and you can come up as early as you want, and you can come up as late as you want, and we camp out and have a ton of fun, but we also um, hear a lot of stories and, and walk away feeling like... Um, I'm, a, I'm that much better of a patroller. Absolutely, 100%. There's no doubt. I know this is only the first half of the first day, uh, but I've already been, been exposed to so much. I, it's, it really gives you a lot, a lot to reflect on, and obviously you're going to uh, learn from just reflecting on that. Now, folks, you know the event is great when you attract six board members. Um, you attract folks from Gore Mountain, Killington Mountain, Sunday River, Sugarloaf, all the big mountains in the east. And you also find guys from Wachusett, Whitetail, Liberty, Round Top, and um, Pat's Peak, and all kind of small mountains. But you know what? We're all the same here. It doesn't matter if you're skiing on um, a thousand foot vertical hill or um, a 10,000 foot vertical hill. It's all ski patrolling and nobody looks down depending on where you, you come from. Right, right. that's very true. We're all equal in respect to saying, hey, we're all here to learn and to improve. And, and, and it's reflected that with all the attitude as far as uh, accommodating each other and just helping each other out. Now, I'll tell you how much respect the, the Ski Patrol gets. Um, we're getting more and more every year within the EMS community. There was eight or nine fire guys up there yeah. that brought their equipment, and they stayed around, and they talked to us, and they said, that was great. And then they interact, they got as much, I think they got as much out of understanding what we do as we got understanding of what, what they would do in a mass casualty and how we all work together. And that's kind of comforting to know that, because it used to not always be that way with the ski patrol. But yes, I, in fact, I have been in situations back in my home mountain where as in it, there was a little bit of friction uh, with local firefighters, but I think that has improved. You know, uh, which is great because uh, we're all here for the same reason, right? Uh, taking care of people that, that happen to get hurt. You know, it's important. Now, I, I went up and saw your incident this morning, and there's a lot of heavy hitters up there. There's a lot of guys. There's some Hall of Famers up there. Right. There's the Eastern Division director up there. There's the executive director of the National Ski Patrol up there. A kid, a guy from Tiny Round Top, walked in and said, I'm in charge. How about that? Well, under a lot of direction. I, I mean, I, it's a lot of help, a lot of saying, hey, this is how we do it. Just, you know, just being right there and saying, hey, let me help you with this, show you how it's done, and then let you take the reins. Uh, that's impressive. It really is. So, folks, um, again, you may not want to be a certified patroller. Heck, you may be out there not even a patroller yet. And if you guys are interested in becoming patrollers, hey, all you got to do is um, go to your local mountain, um, dial up the local ski patrol director and say, how can I become a ski patroller? If you can't find anybody there because it is 90 degrees out and it's in the middle of summer and they're probably not interested in actually skiing right now, just log on to www.nsp.org and the folks out at the national office 
will gladly point you in the right direction. Hey folks, I've been skip a long time and um, there's nothing like the certified boot camp up here in um, in Harrison, Maine. And, and Rich, I appreciate you coming on with me. Oh, and um, we only, we, we just started here. We have another a day and a half left and um, we're gonna lo do a lot more with low angle rescue and all bit. Yeah. And um, hey, hope you had fun. Oh, absolutely. I'm enjoying myself, even though it was only the first half day and, and, and just learning so much and enjoying myself. All the help from everyone. Amazing. Hey, folks, again, I'm Mark Clem for Meet the Members of the National Ski Patrol. Hey, we started out here up in Maine, way up in Maine. We're heading down south in a little while, and we're going to be at your mountain soon. Hey, every Tuesday and Thursday, tune in to Meet the Members of the National Ski Patrol. See you down the road. Mm -hmm.